Well, our developing story this morning, we have team coverage of the windy, warm weather, the fire danger, and fires that just broke out overnight. Yeah, we got a couple of them in the North Bay that we've been following this morning. One north of Calistoga, one in the Yonville area, and joining us on the phone right now to help break down the latest from there is uh, Daniel Berlant with CAL FIRE. Daniel, good morning. Good morning to you guys. Uh, so what's the latest? We got two fires burning. Bring us up to speed on both. Well, like you mentioned, uh, two major fires. One of them is about 50 acres just north of Napa off the uh, Silverado Trail. Uh, that fire we do have 40 per second contained, so we are making progress on that one. The other major one of the morning is uh, up in the Sonoma County area off Highway 128. Uh, that fire in uh, Knights Valley has burned uh, just over 200 acres right now, uh, and our crews uh, are continuing to battle it, but uh, it continues to grow this morning. We're looking live with our helicopter partnership with ABC7 News, so we can see, Daniel, the uh, smoldering spots, and there are lots of uh, flames coming from this fire right now. So how many people are working this? How many firefighters? And do you, uh, you, know, do you know what the wind gusts are at this time? Are they an issue? Well, we do have uh, over 100 firefighters uh, at St. Battle in this fire, and obviously we're, we're calling in more uh, resources. Uh, fortunately for us, we were able to increase our staffing uh, over the last couple of days because we knew we were going into some high fire danger. Even though it's only the uh, first day of May, uh, fire danger is extremely high with the dry conditions we have across California. Winds definitely a condition with strong winds uh, throughout the North Bay and even the East Bay Hills. Uh, a red flag warning has been uh, issued for those areas just because the fire danger is so high due to the strong winds and those dry conditions. And Daniel, as we take a look at these live pictures, that terrain looks awfully rugged. Uh, do you guys have any estimate on when you might have full containment or is this thing going to be a while before you get, finally get your hands on it? We will definitely be out there uh, all day battling this fire. Uh, we'll be uh, bringing in a couple of our helicopters to help us from the air as well now that we have daylight. Uh, but our crews have been out there all night long. Uh, even though it's rough, rugged terrain, this is what we train for. And unfortunately, uh, this is fire season come much earlier this year. A lot of people are concerned when they see fires like this about the direction that it's moving, not just the smoke, but maybe a risk to them if they need to uh, evacuate or voluntarily evacuate or if there have been any structures burned. What can you say about this one in Sonoma and the other one uh, north of Napa. Well, right now we do not have any uh, evacuations that are in place, uh, so we will always uh, do our best to give residents as much notice as possible to get them out of uh, the area. Uh, we want people to, to prepare now, as we're just now in the beginning of fire season, and know what to do if you need to evacuate and evacuate early. That's the best thing to do is don't wait till we have to ask you if a fire is approaching, leave early. Uh, and uh, obviously we'll work with the Sheriff's Department to get residents uh, that may be threatened by this fire uh, if that does occur uh, warned. But again, uh, early evacuation, always the best idea. I know these winds are coming at us from the north. Does that mean that these fires are blowing in the direction of populated areas or what's your, what's your gauge on that? You know, there are scattered uh, homes throughout that area uh, that, uh, you know, if this fire continues to grow, could be uh, threatened uh, later on down the road later today. Obviously, we're going to be taking a very aggressive attack against this fire, making sure we do everything to, uh, to not only put this fire out, but also to keep it away from those homes. And one quick question for you. I know you guys are attacking this from the ground, fire engines, water tenders, bulldozers. Any uh, idea of when or if you'll need to activate any uh, uh, aircraft? to battle this thing from the you air. Know, this morning we'll be evaluating that. Uh, obviously we will be bringing in our helicopters to help us out. We're still uh, a little earlier in the season than we normally have our air tankers, though we have started staffing them uh, in the southern part of the state much earlier. And obviously we'll be evaluating our staffing uh, for Northern California because, uh, you know, with the conditions like this so early in the year, uh, fire season is definitely here. We're prepared, but we're hoping residents are doing their part as well, creating that defensible space because uh, it's definitely going to be a busy year for us. Is there an air tanker available if you, if you decide this morning you need it? Uh, absolutely. We can okay. bring in some air tankers from some of our uh, southern uh, air bases if we do need them. Okay. Yeah, thanks a lot, Daniel Berlant, speaking to us from CAL FIRE this morning about this fire burning in Sonoma County off of Highway 128 and also a 50-acre fire, a smaller fire north of Napa. Uh, so you can see the danger out there and you can feel the danger in the form of the wind. I mean, that's what yeah. they're so concerned about. It's been so hot and windy and we have more heat pouring on tomorrow and it's going to make the firefighters' job is even more difficult. And he was just saying they got 100 firefighters 
on this one here that you're looking at now live, uh, but there are more on the way. And as mm -hmm. I said, James, more evaluations today as far as if they need more manpower and to hit it from above as yeah, well. Yeah, they'll get that, uh, that aircraft above to start observing the fire and its spread. And of course, if this thing lasts longer than today, we're looking at temperatures that are gonna be steadily increasing as we head toward Friday. And that's gonna make things even more difficult, not only for the firefighters, but also it'll just add more of that dry brush fuel for that fire. And so we'll here. be back with yeah. the weather angle on that and also your commute in just a couple of minutes.